So guys, today we're going to be taking a look at five coins which are breaking out right now and whether you can get involved in them right now or whether you should wait for a retest. Make sure you watch all the videos so you find out exactly the best points to get into these coins. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more and let's get straight into it. So the first thing I want to talk about, first coin I want to talk about is, and of course, as always, none of these coins are sponsored and none of these coins are paying us to say any of this. This is literally just our own opinion. And of course, the first one I want to talk about is Ethereum because Ethereum's in a very interesting spot right now. So you can see here, we pretty much retested on this uh, level of support here. You can see we broke through with this big bullish candle here on around the 17th of March, and then we pushed back, retested it on this area around 1700, and have now pushed up significantly higher to almost $2,000. And once again, it does seem like we're having a bit of a repeat here, where we've tested on this level of resistance, and we is now using that support to hopefully push ourselves back up to that 1950 region. I would expect this to kind of continue through up to the end, up to the next uh, major point, which would be up here around 2020. $28. So uh, I would expect to see Ethereum hit that and then potentially take a bit of a retracement down. So for me, if I'm looking to buy Ethereum, I'd be setting a stop loss below that kind of 1820 level and I would be targeting $2,028. But again, please do your own due diligence on this, do your own analysis, and this is not financial advice. So Ethereum, that would be the first one. The next one I'll take a look at is Near Protocol. Now, Near Protocol is one of those projects that we've liked for a while. You can see we retested quite nicely on this imbalance area here on the daily charts and uh, you can see we had a nice move up from there. Now, since then, you can see we had this somewhat of a trend line. Of course, there's a daily chart. If you've gone the one hour, this would be a lot easier to see. You can see that trend. We broke out. We've retested. And it looks like we're finally moving up towards these highs here. If we break and take out around that $2.07, $2.10 level, then I would expect us to move up higher and take out $2.20. And in terms of a, another target, I would look towards this area up here, which would be this next order block, which would be $2.58. So from this current level, you know, you'd be look at least a 25% gain there. So I think, and again, another good opportunity here. And you can see with our pivot point super trend indicator, if we do break above $2.18, we'll then be in a buy zone again, which again, will push us up higher. Third is Conflux CFX. This one had a massive run up recently ever since, you know, pretty much the end of January. You can see it went from a matter of cents all the way up to around 48 cent. And right now we had a very classic kind of break and retest of this area here. And it looks like we're continuing this trend going. You can see we've got that up move. We've got that retracement and all we need now to complete the continuation of the trend is us to break that previous 44, 45 cent high. And I think that will easily take us to that 48 cent. And then after that, well, we've got, of course, this next kind of level being around the 84 cent level. So I actually think, you know, if we do break out 49, 50 cent, we could see Conflux do almost a 2x within a matter of days or weeks. So I think Conflux could be a good bet for something that could explode very, very soon. However, do be mindful that the market always relies pretty much on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin doesn't continue to have a good time, then altcoins won't either. So if Bitcoin doesn't continue to push closer and closer to 30K, then we may see a fall in these altcoins. And where I would look for a retracement if we did come down to it would be this imbalance level here at around 24 cents. Now, penultimately, we have ICP, which you guys know. It's a coin we've covered on the channel quite a bit. And uh, you can see here, we broke out of this kind of downtrend again. If we go on the one hour, you see it a lot better, like so. And then we pushed and we tested around the $4.70 level and we're pushing up higher. So I think that's a pretty good confirmation that we can make it quite a bit higher. And in terms of my next level, I actually want to be targeting kind of around the $5.80 level, which would mean that we would get a nice 13% gain. Of course, if you're careful with it, you know what you're doing, you can always leverage this up a little bit, just maybe a two, three X leverage, just to then pump that 10, 13% up to, you know, 20, 30% gain, make it a bit more worth it. So, and if you guys do want to trade using any of the exchanges that we provide, make sure you check out the links in the description. And also we have a free trading group that you can find out our free signals. I've got a paid trading group if you want to take it to the next level there as well. So uh, yeah, I'd be looking to kind of see a retest on this major level of support and resistance if we did make it up higher. However, there is also somewhat of an order block waiting here at that $5.20 level. So we do need to break that as well before making it higher. And last but not least, we have one of my favorites actually, which is Filecoin. Now Filecoin, I think is a great project. And uh, you can see here, we've kind of tested on some of the support and then since then we had this kind of downtrend which we then broke we retested around that $5.30 level and for me I'm going to be targeting first of all $7.50 and then I'll be targeting that previous high up here of $9.50 I think Filecoin is one of those where it's like you know it's a really solid project they've got a lot working so therefore when it goes it really does explode as you can see here so to get to the first target that's 23% the second target would be a 55% gain and you know all it takes is a matter of days sometimes you can see here 
from the end of the year around three dollars it went up to about nine dollars fifty literally within two months so it just goes to show guys when you pick the right coin even if it's a top 100 top 50 coin in this case then you can still see two three x's very very quickly so filecoin is the last but not least coin we're talking about anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the quick brief just to go through the coins and if you want us to cover any other coins let us know in the comments down below leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye